buddy? Yeah. You want some lemonade? Mm. Yes. Hey guys, go ahead and take a screenshot of this. We are going to use the print and cut feature in Cricut. Alright, so you'll go ahead and load your project into your software and then go ahead and size it to the dimensions of where I told you to do the screenshot and send it to your printer. We will be using the Cricut printable vinyl and it is hard to just insert that paper directly into your printer so I like to use this Elmer spray adhesive and spray it um, a piece of cardstock and you'll see that in just a second. But you'll go ahead and spray this piece of cardstock and then you will stick the Cricut vinyl, printable vinyl, to the cardstock. And it should look a little something like this. Make sure it's all lined up together with the paper so that when you insert it into your copier, it will work. Now that we're all printed, we'll go ahead and send it to the Cricut to cut. And it will, I, I like to use the iron on setting when I'm using the Cricut printable, printable vinyl. I feel like it cuts better if I use the iron on setting. Now, even though you don't have to seal with the Cricut printable vinyl, I like to use this high gloss coating on um, anything that I do the printable vinyl on that I'm going to apply epoxy over because it just gives it a very nice shine. So I like to spray it, let it sit for about 10 minutes, spray it again, and then it gives my decal a really nice shine. So here I'm going to go ahead and make my own little mixture for my cup color. I didn't want to just use plain yellow because I didn't know if the lemons would really pop on the yellow or if they would be hidden um, in the yellow. So I used all Glitter Glam's glitter today and I used a mixture of Lemon Squeezy, Pixie Dust, and I believe glitzy rainbow but I'll put that put them all up um, and I'll also put the links below in the description box but check out glitter glams they have wonderful glitter and awesome prices As you know by now I love using the epoxy method and so I'm going to go ahead and use the epoxy method to apply my first coat of glitter and I really shouldn't say first coat I only do one coat of glitter because I use the epoxy method made a small amount of the custom glitter because I knew that I wasn't going to be using the custom mixed color a lot again so I am okay with having to pour and re-pour um, the glitter to make sure that I get good coverage. I'd rather do that than waste a lot of glitter that I knew I probably wasn't going to use again.
maybe two or four hours, go ahead and put your first coat of epoxy. Wait four hours and do a flood coat of another coat of epoxy. While we're waiting for that to cure, go ahead and weed your decals and just like with regular vinyl, you weed it the same way, removing all the negative pieces. Now go ahead and prep your decals so that they can be placed on your tumbler. And I'm not going to say much here. You can place your decals however you want. Um, and here you can just kind of watch my process. But there's no rhyme or reason to it. Place them however you feel they um, will look great on your tumbler. one more coat and if you feel like you need a second apply apply two coats of epoxy and let it spin for at least eight hours or overnight I just want to put a disclaimer here though that your epoxy cures um, continues to cure for three days so make sure that if you are giving these cups out to friends or using them for yourself that you allow your epoxy to cure for at least three days before you have someone use it. But what I say to let it dry or let it cure for eight hours or overnight, I mean so that it's not sticky to touch. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe this video and share it with your friends in your Tumblr groups on Facebook. Thanks guys. Bye.